So here we have our control panel pretty much stripped down. And uh, what we're gonna start with is all the ground wires. Every piece of equipment gets a ground wire and it's all gonna go to our ground wire bus here. And it's all gonna get bolted down. We like to do that first to get it back out of the way. Get them all accounted for and gives us room to work. Um, and uh, so here's our supply ground coming in that heads on back out to the main breaker panel and the sub panel for all this sub panel. So uh, that's that one, and then these are all for the equipment. They're all number 12s, multi strand, all the wiring should be number 12. We prefer multi strand, it's easier to pull through the conduit and, uh, and work around in our cabinet as we're wiring. Um, so the other thing that's wired in here besides the, the ground wires is our transformer for the control. It's coming off a single 15 amp breaker. It could even be a 10 amp. There's just not much of a load on these. And uh, so we have a, the wire that's supplied with the transformer that comes over straight to it. And then it has a purple wire that is the ground wire that goes over here to the neutral. I'm sorry, it's the neutral wire that goes over to the neutral bar. And uh, it is also mentioned over here on the door on how to wire this control panel transformer uh, appropriately for 110 or 220. And we're using the 110 option here. Um, then we also have the breaker that goes to the pool lights wired in. Um, the the power supply for it comes over here to this GFCI outlet right here, just like you would have in a house. It has the reset buttons on it. And then the power going out of it is this orange wire that we have run all the way up here to our relays because they have to be switched on and off. And we've run a jumper over here to this one because we're also going to uh, use this for the spa light as well. Um, this this one feed can do the pool lights and the spa lights and other lights if needed. You just run another, another jumper over and over to the, the different lighting stations that you might have. There, each one has its own button up here and a relay down here. Um, the other thing to note is our neutral wire goes from the neutral bar, neutral bar over here, over here to our GFCI, and then we run our neutrals that go out to the junction boxes for these two lights. They each go down the conduit off to the lights uh, for each one. Now, uh, we're gonna start with this one here, which happens to be a low voltage lighting. It's a single wire, and it, the orange ones go to the pool. So we're gonna run those things back here out of the way, try to keep them nice and neat behind everything. And I'm just gonna feed it up here and we're going to run it over here to the line side of this relay and tuck it up underneath here on one side. And then we're going to run the other pool light that's gonna come from this other conduit. We're gonna run it up here as well behind everything. And we're going to bring it up here. I'm going to stick it in here next to this one. Up underneath the little tang here. Sometimes this can be a little persnickety to get done. But uh, it's a matter of just getting behind that, keeping the wires together. And putting it up in here behind it. Nice and neat. You can tell we didn't strip a whole lot off, just enough to do the job. And then we're gonna tighten it down with our screwdriver. So this is taking care of the power going to the pool lights and the switch for it. And uh, then we have our spa light, which they run in yellow. And we're going to Run it up behind here as well to keep things nice and neat. 
me in hand. We're gonna try to run it up here. Without getting caught on anything or too many things. There we go. And since we're gonna switch that separately than the pool lights, we're gonna run it over here. So this is the power coming in. This would be the load side right here. We're gonna tuck it up underneath the, the edge of our little clamp here. Back this off a little bit more. Tighten it down nice and tight. We don't have to be so tight that it breaks anything, but we want them snug. Check them all. And there's our pool lights all wired in, ready to go. The GFCI protected it. Then uh, the other thing we're going to want to switch is going to be our um, our our pool cleaner. And that's what this one goes to. We've run our pigtail from the breaker up here to the line side of our relay. And uh, these are the wires heading off to the cleaner. And we'll just bring them on up here and lay them right up here. It's 240 volts, so it doesn't terribly matter at all which one is which. And um, 